or and then whatever your opponent responds with, and then King E E seven or ah damn it, I can't remember. You get the point. King E three, King E seven. Anyways, Ooh, huge fan. Yeah, getting started here. Winners semifinals, McDale uh, again from GCU. Um, had a really good showing earlier against Loot, but Noir is uh, a very, very, very solid player. Yeah, really good Sheik. I haven't seen a, I haven't seen her play Sheik in a little bit, but yeah, she's kind of just been playing like whoever she wants recently. Like we've been seeing Sheik, Meat Min -min. Brawler, Fox, Min Min, exactly. So we get over when she was literally farming with Min Min, bro. Yeah, or something. Yeah, McDale just having a lot of trouble getting off this ledge. Um, finally gets a good roll off, but uh, Noir just continues to keep up the pressure. Does not give up center stage. Oh, nice stuff. Yeah. Okay, we're seeing a lot of pressure with projectiles right now that I feel like Sheik, unless Sheik is blocking, will probably have a pretty hard time dealing with. Oh, whoa. Okay, very Oof. ambitious edge guard attempt there. I'm not sure what Noir is oh, going for back here. Oh, up there in McDale! Reversal. Okay, nice. Comes out swinging. Okay. One heck of a reversal there to start it Bouncing out. Bouncing fish, oh, and that's an uncheckable. That from the attack, yeah. That was checkable, actually, but dang, I, I wouldn't have checked it myself. That was a pretty funky interaction there. Yeah, Bouncing Fish going to be able to close out that stock. Here's a grab, though. Jab, pretty, very, very unsafe on shield. Two oh, I love that double parry. Gotta love it. Yeah. This is a relatively even game right now, um, but again, Noir just continuing to keep oh, up the pressure. Up B! Man, oh. where have I seen that exact same interaction before? It looks like it happened <laughs> like not even a minute ago. Deja vu, really, yeah. yeah that's, just, that's just Noir's corner right there. Just, again, literally cannot get out of this right corner. Man. Yeah, I, I saw him like, that is just Noir's base of operations for this entire match, it looks like. Oh, down smash, not really good ledge, attempt. The other one. Yeah, I only, mean... Only the right ledge. Oh, yeah, see, okay. look, over the left ledge, now it's just McDale feed. Exactly, that's gotta be it. Oh, but we're on the right side of the stage. Up to McDale, but... Noir to just... Nortown. Here we are. Keep Here it up the are. pressure. Take it happen, Noir. <laughs> Won't be able okay. to for you. I don't know why she keeps on going so deep off stage, so low. Um, yeah. I'm not entirely sure what she's fishing for. Oof. Let's see. Just bouncing McDale back and forth. I don't know how that up tilt didn't hit. That was a weird, weird hit. That's a little interesting, yeah. 120% on McDale. Not necessarily in danger of getting killed, but Ooh. Noir certainly is. And the crown, which is actually... If, I feel like the crown is actually stronger when you throw it at Kirill than when he throws it at you. Oh! Ooh. Down air, up air, McDale with the kill confirm. Manages to Making clutch out game one. Big moves with that up air, yeah. But I, I guess, like, I don't know. I, I don't know how pertinent it really is in the matchup, but I feel like k Will's crown is a lot stronger when you throw the crown back at him than when he throws it at you. So I guess whenever that's active, which is a lot more often than you think, that is not a legal stage. That is not um, a legal stage. <laughs> um, oh, is it a legal stage? What the hell? I have no well, idea. I mean, whether, whether you want it to be a legal stage or not is a whole different discussion. But well, we're going there anyways. I'm, it it might like, yeah, be legal. I actually to. don't know for sure. Um, either way, Noir is pulling out the fox. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's legal on yeah. Wednesdays. Okay, I see. Um, either way, yeah, Noir pulling out the fox. No more games. No more... No more, uh... Nice Noir, essentially. Oh god, <laughs> not the crown getting stuffed out by the platform. Oh. Really good parry. Yeah. Just kind of good like recognition of, you know, I have a I have a parry that stuffs out active hitboxes. Up is a very it's active a down hitbox. Throw. Oh man. Yeah, see, I was a little bit concerned if uh when McDale did the down throw whether or not up tilt would connect like it normally does just cuz of the slant on the stage. Yeah. So it seemed like McDale kind of went for a down or up smash follow up just like as a precautionary. Yeah, and it ended up working. Noir playing so patient around that up B just knows like it has a deceptively large hitbox. Okay. Ooh, what? Wait a minute. That um, ready to take a stock hit? That was a little bit premature. Yeah, gonna find that stock. And now the Fox Blunder coming out, but 
I love that usage of that neutral air. And McDale just coming out with these massive beefy hitboxes. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, one of the biggest hurtboxes in the game on this character, and Nara's making quick work of it. Yeah. Finally right manages... To DK, right? I want to say uh, right next to DK or Bowser. They're both very big. Um, yeah. I think, like, even Ridley's up there as well. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, that's true. I like the drop-down parry attempt trying to read oh, a, a B button. what? Insane Ooh, down slash. Legendary. Yeah, there's just something about having that um, disjointed hitbox like that, where it's Ooh. just like, you can, you can... I think of how many characters can really counterplay a down smash with another down smash. Not yeah. It was really good by Noir there. Just a good call out, but she's got to make something happen here. McDale starting to turn up the heat. Crown finds its mark. She makes it back on the ledge, though, and gets a good down air. Continues the combo, but that Nair is just so big. Oh, okay. We got a good up throw. Yeah. They're going to try and keep McDale aerial as long as possible. Oh, no. Oh, okay. okay that would have been a. That would have been a. To close out the game there. That was really close. Good DI but manages to knock out of that, to that blunderbuss. I think we could have caught him off, caught her off stage, ah! but I mean, not quite yet. Really good run up grab there. Noir got to close out this game pretty soon. Shields the up B, gets grabbed, back throw, and oh, McDale yeah. takes game two. Oh no. Oh, surprisingly, yeah, after all those crazy counterplays and like all that stuff off stage and whatnot, that was surprisingly to the point. Just neutral get up. Wait for something to whiff and uh, hit him with a back throw. Yeah. And now Noir, uh, two games down against GCU's McDale. Um, <laughs> Counterpicking to Battlefield and very much got to make something happen here. Yeah, this is starting to look pretty out. You know, I was going to say that it was starting to look pretty dire for uh, Felix, but she seems to... Or maybe maybe she does agree. Maybe me fighters for last second go-to pick. Who knows? I feel like normally when she's down and like back into a corner, we tend to see Min Min, but uh, you know that's what? True, yeah. Maybe uh, maybe she's kind of going for like the matchup inexperience up against a character that she doesn't have a ton of experience against, or maybe she does have Possible. experience. But it's, either way, the 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 meat brawler's been putting in some good work for her so far. So far, so good. Yeah. <laughs> Dive kick. She does have shield or crown as well. Oh, oh but the back air. No. Do we not right the back. neutral B? Like it wasn't even there to begin with. Yeah. I almost want to say rip. it's ignorant. <laughs> Maybe a I little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just Noir. Playing a single player experience right now. Noir just can't seem to actually get something started. Does get the up B, oh and that'll kill off the side. But she's uh, still got some work to do, especially with McDale. Having this two game lead already. Two game lead. Okay! Getting a cute little string here. Continues it with the forward air. Manages to take the percent lead, but she's not out of the woods quite yet. McDale! Keeping oh, up the no, pressure yeah, neutral. The super right the rugby. Yeah. I like that dive or uh what is it? Jump, flip dive, flip dump, jump, kick, uh, dive, oh, kick, you're jump. Talking about the upby, right? The down B. Up B will take the, the stop. Oh, nearly take stop. Oof. Flip kick. There it is. Flip, flip, flip kick, kick yeah. makes it back. <laughs> uh, yeah, flip kick there again. Just such a good tool to keep up the pressure. Faint jump. Yeah, sure. That's the official faint, one. Faint jump? Is that the name of it? I'm pretty sure it's oh, a meat brawler one. Oh, flip kick is uh, zero suits. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's the same move. Like, yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> they are pretty much carbon copies, yeah. Okay. Oh uh, no, and another successful Nair off stage. Yeah. Gonna stuff out that uh, upbeat. Oh tent. no! Wow, the cannonball yeah. just takes a stock. And now Noir suddenly on her winner's stock right now. Gotta find something to figure out this uh, this matchup. Otherwise, this could potentially be curtains for her. Yeah, something's gotta happen here. Because I feel like uh, Fox was definitely giving McDale a run for his money for a little bit there. But I feel like. Surprisingly enough, McDale's been doing really good at figuring out this Mii Fighter in a matter of stocks. Yeah, just continuing Not even like across to the set, shut her just out. took him a couple tries, and it's like, alright, well I already got a really consistent uh, edge guarding option. Oh, and here's the crown at play! Yeah. The one that Tries I didn't think was going to be too pertinent, but it looks like it's putting in a little bit of work right now. Ah, down smash, shower spot, no follow up, and there's the up tilt, Ooh. up B! 
Not gonna kill quite yet. A little too uh, too on the left side of the stage. Good crown throw. It just has such good knockback on that for like something you just throw so easily. Yeah. Blunderbuss not gonna find its mark. Noir does have the crown available again. 155% on McDale. She's got to find this stock soon. Oh, barely misses the crown off stage, and now oh oh. Percent just keeps on getting higher, but she's got to actually close out the stock. Here's a ledge trapping opportunity. Back there air! There we go. Good punish with the back air to punish that get up option. Any way to close it out there. Yeah, yeah. That, that was that crown that I was talking about because I was like, you know, it, it doesn't, it's not there all the time. You can't really rely on it, but like when it's there, I mean, it's stronger than like Peach's turnups, for instance. Yeah. You know how much Peach players love their turnups. Um. Now we do get, uh, McDale does get counterpick advantage for the rest of the game after, uh, wait. Yeah, I, I mean, assuming yeah. we do bring this uh, back to a game five, that could very well be the case. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, McDale does have a pretty strong advantage, but, um, obviously it's, uh, not quite over yet. Noir still fighting, not gonna get, uh, sent to losers quite so soon. Yeah, not quite so soon. I mean, while he does have the advantage for uh, stage counter picks, I mean, it is it could very well come down to Felix just kind of seeing uh, Noir, Noir just kind of seeing that you know she's being counter picked to a certain stage, and then just being like, oh well, I got like three other characters that can more than accommodate that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So in 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 her case, it can, it's a little bit different. Uh, it seems like McDale isn't a hundred percent sure where he actually wants to counter pick. Um, right. Town and I think, I think you might be realizing that too. It's like, wait a minute. She got like it's three like... different, like, <laughs> drastically different characters that she could pull it at any time. Yeah. Maid Song? Let's go for Maid Song for the culture? Nah. Maid Sans. Maid, Maid Song? Oh, that was Maid Song. Like, oh, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Maid Song. <laughs> Just didn't see the hat. That's funny. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Noir running it back with the Mii Brawler. This is a very big stage. McDale will have a lot of room to play around with projectiles and getting so much mileage out of Crown and Blunderbuss already. Mm, but one missed dash attack means that Noir gets a free advantage state. Doesn't get much out of it, though. Oh, God! No, you're right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Because, I mean, I feel like so far, it, it's like, it's really just a stage, to be honest. It's just like allowing for a little bit more leeway in that front. Yeah. We do have a different me brawler than we did last game, though. Uh, we're seeing an axe kick instead of the uh, soaring sidewinder kick or whatever it is. That's right. I believe that's oh. the only difference, though. Whoa, that beat that might out the be, armor. Yeah, just one special move. It did beat out the armor. Yeah. Yeah, Noir just I, I, can't how, to get these crowns off how stage. How frequently does K Rule's armor regenerate, or does it regenerate at all? I'm not even sure. It heals, I want to say it's about the same, oh my god, she went for it. Uh, yeah. I would like to say that it's the same rate as like shields regenerate, um, oh, okay. but obviously, oh, good shot put. Ooh, good uh, shot if, put. It, if you do break the armor, then it is essentially a shield break and you do get a huge punish. Right. So McDale is doing a good job of rationing the shield's health. Oh! Ooh, good catch on that faint jump. Yeah. Let's see McDale. Having a bit of an easier time making it up uh, onto Sage against this Mii Brawler than what we were seeing in the Fox matchup, but um, still a very, very even game between these two so far. Uh oh, a bit of a risky option to get up there. Oh! Okay, that up B has me scared. Okay. Yeah, the Town and City okay. platform is coming in so big for Noir's recovery there. Ah, she's going very aggressive off Sage. Yeah, very aggro off stage, and I mean, we've seen a lot of reversals on uh, McDale's part. Um, so I would, I would, I mean, nothing really too <laughs> wrong with doing so, but just proceed cautiously, I guess. Yeah. Ah, uh, misses the side B. Careful not to get stretchered there. Norm, gotta make it off stage oh back goodness. there. No follow up from McDale though. Backers are terrifying on McDale. Yeah. Oh God. Daenerys and Noir, it's such a scary oh, angle. No. Oh no, she's not going to live after that, though. And here we find our winner stock situation here again. Let's see what uh, Noir might have in store for us. She's still alive, and she is still fighting. Ledge trap opportunity. These crowns off stage just creating so much pressure. 
I like this. Noir seems to starting to. Uh, I would like to see Noir start to play a little bit more patiently. Ooh, Ooh really? Caught him in. Caught her in mid air with a down tilt. That's kind of interesting. That I mean, maybe she was fast falling. That's my only guess. Oh god, the ground up air not quite gonna kill, but the percent is getting higher and higher. Noir needs to find this stock, and she needs to get a lot of damage on this next one. Oh. But the down air up smash not gonna yeah. find its mark. Noir finding a couple of good hits, but not quite that stock that she really needs right now. Yeah. Oh, stage spike. Oh, no. What? That's it. Oh, yeah, McDale. Yeah, she could attack, but Noir. like even then, like what what would have really happened next? Didn't have yeah. too many options there. McDale takes it three to one and will be advancing into winners' finals against the winner of Ame and Skarm. But ah, oh, what a tragic uh, way to end that set. Really, really good yeah. play there, McDale.